All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin again with Yorker Racing. Uh, we're back for another one today. We're going to be working with the Analyx 3030 Evo Pro. Um, you saw in the last video, or at least maybe a couple videos back, um, we made some test runs on it. We assembled it. You can go back and check it out if you want to see the unboxing and kind of initial setup process with it. Um, this time around, it's going to be our very first cuts ever on our own tool pass that we're doing. Um, not going to bore you to death with a lot of computer work. I'll just kind of show you the files up there um, that we're going to be trying to cut, and we will hopefully have some success with it. Um, if not, we'll go over where we messed up and what we need to correct. Um, but anyway, I think we've got most of what we need to start. I'm still waiting on some aluminum, so I got the MDF, and we're just going to make um, a couple of little cuts on that. I did a logo toolpath. Um, so we're just going to engrave that to start with, and then we'll probably throw the um, eighth inch single flute bit in there, and we'll start making a couple of cuts, um, see if we can actually do the profile for um, our time and pointer bracket and our pointer itself. Anyway, let's get it. All right, so jumping right in, this is the pointer itself. We're actually right now um, working on... Um, some soft jaw layouts to be able to hold that while we're milling it um, so we'll go over here to our pointer file we've got our um, Yurkit Racing logo or you know written, written out in the top of it happy with the way that looks um, we're still working on the toolpath I got about halfway through the toolpath on this one um, so we'll, that'll be the last one we try but this is our bracket itself um, got all the toolpath laid out for this one drew up this logo on it so the first thing we're going to actually try to cut over in the software is going to be um, this logo here and like I said hopefully it'll all go good let's jump in and try it now we're uh, just kind of setting our home position on the tool here and we're going to get ready to send it so I need and then we can hit Z probe on that. Just come over here after we got everything zeroed out on our um, axis. Now we're going to send the code. Okay, so I made a error in the file where I had um, the Z axis picking up too high. Um, it was come, it came all the way up as you can see. It hit the um, limit switch at the top, so I wouldn't let it run the file. I went back made an adjustment hopefully this time it'll run the way it's supposed to so let's try it again take number three did the same thing again that time tried to pull the parameters back a little bit more let's try it again why is it doing that all right something's making it try to cut all the way up here at the top of the axis i don't know why i gotta figure that out take like number five or ten i, I don't know at this point <laughs> Same freaking problem, holy shit. Okay, so hard to tell exactly what that is. <laughs> uh, we got a, a little deep, it's only supposed to be an engraving bit, but it's got it sitting down in there probably I don't know, 30 second of an inch or so. Um, at least we got the toolpath working and we got the machine trying to cut something because for a minute they were frustrating the mess out of me. Um, I think I need to go back, shallow it out, and actually put it on something harder, some kind of aluminum, um, like we're actually going to be using it on to see if it'll engrave it a little more clearly. You can see where it tried to do it though. The outline of everything is there. So i um, thinking we're heading in the right direction. Um, it's late tonight. I'm not going to mess with it anymore right now. But i um, glad we at least got that part figured out. Uh, once we get some metal in here, we'll bring you back. All right. Okay, guys. So it's the next day. We're back in it again. Um made a couple of edits to the file think we should be in better shape this go around try to take some of the depth back out of it I'm not gonna go as deep we're just gonna run it 
hopefully right on the surface. Um, I actually have one of the brackets that we ended up having um, laser cut before, I'm sorry, uh, plasma cut before. A little bit of a rough finish um, compared to what I'm looking for hopefully from the machining process. So that's why we're heading this route with it. So it's more finished to look when we get it. Um, you know, once it's done, but anyway, we're going to try to rough it on this. Really hoping that this goes fairly well. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, we're going to hope for the best. Let's try it. That's clearly not it, bro. <laughs> Maybe there's something. Alright, that was a fail. Let's try this again. Alright, well we did something anyway, let's see if we can uh, pull it off, see if it's recognizable at all. Initial thoughts is it actually looks better than I, better than I thought it was going to. After the uh, MDF deal yesterday I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. Oh that's awesome, hopefully you can see it. I don't know how well that's showing up but um, in person here you can tell what it is and that's pretty damn awesome.